Right, uh, still with the gruesome twosome from Montecito, uh, Prince Harry has been mocked in a withering put down by the England rugby coach uh, Eddie Jones. So it was back in the day. It was when uh, Prince Harry uh, was the uh, kind of president of the British Rugby Association. Anyway, he turned up for a training session and uh, Eddie Jones, uh, a no nonsense guy, turned around and said, How's the climate change going, mate? How's, how was Elton John's jet? and so on and so forth. So this was just after Harry and Meghan, great campaigners for climate change, for ecological uh, wonderment. Uh, they, all, they got on Elton John's private jet and Elton John said, well, that was for security. So never mind the planet, their security is more important than that. And uh, no nonsense, uh, Aussie uh, Eddie Jones, the then England ma uh, manager, just turned round it on him and put him in his place. How's the climate change going, mate? How was Elton John's jet? I bet you, Harry, I wouldn't mind being a fly on the wall there, well, would you? Apparently Harry used to go and watch the England rugby team train. Apparently that's according to Dan Cole. Um, I mean, Harry should get back on the rugby pitch and stop whining and just be knocked about around the head a little bit. It might help his uh, brainwaves. Uh, yeah, now, still with Harry, uh, this is interesting. Uh, you, you know this uh, business with his uh, visa application, so he admitted in his rubbish book, Spare. Well, actually, it's quite it's a good read, Spare, but it's a nasty book. Uh, he admitted in that book, you know, copious drug consumption, mushrooms, mm. cocaine, uh, cannabis. That's psychedelic uh, jungle one. Yeah, and uh, so he admitted to that. Now, if, you take, if you're a foreigner and you want to live in America... Uh, you can't have taken drugs. You, you mustn't take drugs. And you drugs. can't have lied on you your visa application so, so, either. So here's the point. Uh, either he told the truth on his visa application and said, I have taken drugs. So you're right. Or, or he lied so you're his, right. and said, I haven't. Uh, either way, it should put him in big trouble. Now, you know the Heritage Foundation, a right-wing think tank, uh, uh, taking the government to court, the American government to court to say, you know, we want to see this visa application. They tried to get him kicked out because of his drug consumption. Uh, old uh, forelock touching Joe Biden and the dozy de deferential Democrats let him stay. Uh, so then the Heritage Foundation said, well, look, well, let's see, let's have a look at his visa application. What is it? Oh, no, 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 we're not going to show you that. Uh, in other words, in other words, America is supposed to treat everyone the same. Now, you, me, Alex, you, me, all of you, you try going to America and say, no, can I live here, please? I've taken loads of drugs, loads of drugs. They, you won't even get past passport control. So why are they giving this guy special well, uh, treatment? It is not the American Trump, way. Trump's turned around and basically said if he gets into power, he's going to get that visa out. Oh, yeah, Exactly. He, he said he's now, not going to protect it. This... By the way, Spare's been nominated for uh, two awards at uh, the British Book uh, oh Awards and uh, I think they are nastiest book ever. Uh, best book not written by the author. It was written by a ghostwriter because right. let's face it, Harry ain't that bright.